Hello everyone, this is Christian from CNN Navigation Systems and in today's video I will present our new CMNAV traffic with live traffic updates and Android operating system. Let's start by unboxing the product. Comes in a little box. And what you get inside, you've got the SatNav itself, which comes packed in this bubble wrap. Like it's quite solidly packed, so it won't crack during transportation. I'll leave this to one side for now to check the other content of the box. You get the back plate of the holder. I will show you in a minute how this be how this will be used. The suction cup bracket, which goes attached to this one, like so. I will show you. I'll take it out of the bag. So these two join together like this. You've got some grooves that you have to line up with the pegs. Press on it. You'll hear that click, that means it's secure, is in place and this this one goes onto this windscreen or if you have a um, some of them pads, I've seen them, some discs that you put on dashboard with a smooth surface, you can stick it like this in this position so you can have it close to you. So it's got two uh, ways to be mounted, one in a windscreen which is the most uh, used um, the most efficient, it doesn't require anything else extra but um, if you want to put it on the dashboard you should consider one of them discs, the smooth disc to put on on dashboard and it will stick there um, we'll get them in stock, we don't have them currently but we're looking to get some of these in stock as well you also get our usual proper 24, 12, 24 volt car charger uh, this is the only um, charger that you should use to power up your device uh, while you're driving the manufacturer suggests to keep it plugged in all the time using this one into your cigarette lighter socket you can find these pretty much on any other seller but um, be aware because some of them even if they are listed as 24 volt compatible they actually are just for 12 volts so immediately once you plug it in in a few hours maybe instantly sometimes they will blow you also get a sunshade visor this is to be placed around the screen of the sat nav so it will protect you uh, against the sun rays during the day that awkward glare that, that, uh, that shows up and uh, also is good at night because it will prevent uh, the uh, sat nav's image, the light from the sat nav screen to reflect into the windscreen. You also get this USB, mini USB data cable. This is not to be used for charging the device, it's to be used just for transferring data from computer onto the sat nav, but to be more specific is mostly used for map updates. So keep it safe, don't throw it, just don't use it to charge the device with it. And last but not least, the operation manual. It's got some generic information about, uh, it's in English, uh, about the uh, SatNav's interface, Android interface, but it doesn't contain data about uh, navigation software. This will be provided in some video tutorials, uh, which will be sent to you after the purchase. So that's it with the box, we'll uh, move over and uh, carry on with the product description, that's why I left this one last. So moving to the product itself, this comes like I said packed in this little bag, it's got a nice large 7 inch screen, it's non-reflective. It's a common design 
but what's inside is totally different from what you can find on the market um, so on the sides you have the connection port you get the audio jack 3.5 millimeter they're marked on the back as well you know what this is used for you can use it to connect some earphones with it or a small speaker the micro SD card uh, slot which you will use to ex expand the memory uh, play movies um, music copy personal stuff and keep them with you it can take up to 64 gigabytes memory card so you can use whatever you want this is not included in the box for this model I need to mention that you've got a 2.5 millimeter audio video input as well this is used mainly for uh, connecting a reversing camera on it because this satnav has a reversing camera monitor feature as well a function um, this is the camera we use it's very useful the reversing camera with four LEDs for night vision it has built-in uh, reversing lines so as for guidance so you know where to go and uh, it's very useful like I said in, in a small medium vehicle like a caravan motorhome a car uh, vans not still very good for uh, lorries because first of all they come with cameras from the factory now or uh, they might be too short in the wire but we're looking to get some longer cables and bigger cameras as well for lorries as well uh, to connect to you simply plug this connector here like on a audio jack and you've got a reversing camera on the fly when you don't want to use it simply remove that the connector is pretty much plug and play on satnav's end and you can take the satnav and put it in another vehicle simple as and also it has the mini USB over here this port is shared to charge the device and also to uh, connect it to computer and transfer data just as a mobile phone and I need to mention this model you will see it soon it comes in two different designs there is this one as well with a blue edge but it's pretty much the same thing got the same specifications and it's just a different color so in case you will see it listed like that on the website don't you think it's a different model is the same it's just the design which will be different the specs will be the same as you can see on the back again it's got Bluetooth it's got 8 GB internal memory and Android operating system uh, Bluetooth on these devices with Android it's not to be used to make phone calls they're only for data transfer or connecting earphones or stuff like that Bluetooth accessories so it won't work to make phone calls via Bluetooth the only model that we have in stock and works uh, via Bluetooth is CMNAV Pro so moving forward we got the speaker over here the built-in speaker it looks small but it's quite strong also internal uh, components you get a quad core processor is very fast and 512 megabytes RAM memory which will provide a smooth uh, operating and uh, non-freezing like most of the cheap devices on the market nowadays let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it looks like I've got my charger set up here already so we make sure we don't run out of battery and now we're live this is the user interface um, like I said it's based on an Android operating system but it's specially configured to be used on a uh, satnav the interface is user friendly you get the basic stuff here in a user front user interface and uh, you can access the tablet menu by pressing on that uh, app and you'll get access to all the apps uh, playback that's for videos no videos currently Explorer is the brow internet browser FM feature like you know already for our devices is an FM transmitter feature and you basically activate it so set the frequency on a neutral frequency um, match this frequency on your car radio 
and then you can broadcast the sound from satnav into your built-in vehicle speakers remember to uh, turn it off when you're finished because activating this will mute the speaker on the satnav itself and you won't get any notifications sound notifications after that if you leave it on music player settings time and date and navi uh, since this one has live traffic uh, you should connect it to internet before you start navigating so to do that you go to settings Wi-Fi it's already enabled in my case but I'll show you how to do that tap on it and you pretty much enable it from there from the top you will start scanning the networks nearby uh, it's connected already to my uh, local Wi-Fi network at home but you got two ways to do that in a vehicle I always mention that and most of you are probably familiar with this uh, procedure so one would be if you have a Wi-Fi uh, 4G modem from from your uh, internet provider or if you have unlimited data on your uh, mobile phone you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your mobile simply go to hotspot activate that and now you will share your uh, connection with any other device nearby in your vehicle so from there you can just go and connect it uh, connect the sat nav to it like on any other network and once you're live you can go back you can use it to play movies Netflix especially is something I like and most of the people like I believe uh, it comes pre-installed by us if you need any other apps let us know we can load them for you as as much as that's possible of course if, because it might be some apps we cannot find but we'll try our best and you can see actually what's on Netflix lately you can choose to play any of these videos and see have an idea of what it looks like let's put the volume up a bit let's turn down You got the idea. I don't want to leave it playing for too long because uh, YouTube might take my video down for copyright uh, reasons. So you see it's quite smooth. It doesn't look freeze or something like that when you're playing videos. That's a good thing. And that's thanks to the processor and the RAM memory, in internal me RAM memory. Going on to navigation, I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna be loading. Like I said, this model comes with live traffic updates uh, via Wi-Fi uh, on it. So you will see uh, the, inter the new interface of, uh, of live traffic uh, software. This one, you can see already up updates picking up. So it will scan all events nearby on a radius of, I'd say, 200 miles or so. And this will be com uh, constantly scanned as you drive. What traffic games we have nearby? I got quite a few on wood. So roadworks, most of them queues. We got a closed lane over here due to roadworks. Uh, these will be more often uh, met at night because uh, they, they close the roads, you know, to uh, to perf to do any works on high motorway or whatever. They will do it mostly after eight o'clock in the night, I believe. So that's why you can't see too many for now. But you will see them and Satna will take him into account when calculating the route. Uh, the route is quite, uh, it, it might look a bit different from what you've seen so far, but it's not, and it might be like a bit intimidating, but it's not so scary after you get used to it. Because I made sure I put like the most used features in, in front here. Like if you press on this time and date button here, you will get petrol station nearby weather favorite locations if you tap on that it will save your current location to favorites so if you're in a place that you like and you like to save it to go back there later you can do that give it a name and save it and you will have it on the map 
uh, search by coordinates and so on. Um, so I'd say this is not really hard as it looks. You can switch through the views, view types, 2D, 3D, uh, that's 2D with north lo locked. It will uh, constantly show the north on the map. I don't suggest using that, I find it really uh, awkward, but I prefer 3D normal and 2D. Uh, I use most of the times 3D, but I know people who use 2D as well. So for this reason, I put this on the map, uh, on main screen, so you can actually see it better and choose whatever you, you like better. Also, I put on main screen the auto day night uh, mode. This is night only, so it will show night all the time. This is day only, and this is auto, which will uh, make this sat nav switch itself from day uh, to night whenever is the case after when it gets dark or in the morning. So going here on the left hand side you will see this trip computer which is useful at night as well when you're driving in a straight line for miles on motorway you can put this one rather than having the sat nav um, image like um, going into your eyes you can just put it on this and you get some basic uh, features here like arrival time left current speed and you will see when you're driving you will see speed limit for the road so it's quite good as a screen saver um, also you get the speed constantly displayed on screen big there and when you will be speeding it will be flashing red so it will catch your eye and you'll know to slow down you got a compass too over there and also you can see other th features on the map speed cams and POIs as well going to the menu ignore this side it looks a bit intimidating like I said because it's got so many boxes and things you can just forget about this for now uh, until you get used to it you will receive videos anyways after purchase this is just a quick video to present the product but after purchase you will actually get some uh, detailed video uh, made specifically for a certain feature so you'll get a better idea of how to use this you can select multi-point routes uh, like if you're doing multiple drops or you want to go to multiple locations you select you put the postcodes or your locations in this list and the sat nav will connect him and make a one single route here you will see well for this for the purpose of this video i have loaded um stuff for uh, camper vehicles and for lorries as well this vi this sat nav is suitable for uh, most of the vehicles of the road vehicles currently existing out there I'd say apart from motorbikes but this is something we work at and soon we'll get some products for motorbikes as well but for any other vehicles motorhome caravan cars bus lorry coach you name it it will be perfect you can even add a new profile so you can add as many as you want different types of uh, vehicles if you're driving more uh, I'm not gonna go in into this too much now because like I said I've got different videos for that Route calculation type, easy, fast, scenic, twisty, economical and so on. Like I always uh, say to my customers, only use short if you're driving a car. If you're in a large vehicle, just don't use that, it's not good. I prefer myself fast, but I know some, some drivers said they find easy routing a bit better. Now, you play with both of these and see which one works better for you. I'll leave it on, on fast for now. Um, you got motorways enabled, so they will be taken into account when calculating the route. Ferries, car shuttles, uh, environmental zones and all that. As for environmental zones, make sure you don't activate it because this works the other way around compared to uh, motorways. Uh, if you activate it, it will, Santa will take you through environmental zones uh, when you're getting nearby. So you better leave them on off like this. Navigation view, here's where you can change different things, what you want to see. I suggest don't mess with these too much because you will, uh, if you, you know, until you get used to the sat nav, because you will do something and it will change some things and it will be quite hard to get back on. Uh, I preset the sat nav to be used ideally, you know, for any type of vehicle. Like if you're using it in a camper, I'll set it for a camper. If you're using it in a lorry, I'll set it for a lorry. So uh, feel free to play with it, don't get me wrong. But if you uh, put something wrong there, um, 
it will be you will find it hard to go go back if you if you're not used to it yet so take it with baby steps until you get used but you know practice makes it better so I'm not saying not to use it basically what that you bought it for but um, yeah just be cautious what you're changing remember what you've changed to put back if you think it's the case uh, for regional settings is you can change the voice type, type and in, uh, the language is currently set on English but you can choose from a variety of languages depending on which one you prefer that's the voice that's the language as well loads of languages um, units and formats you can switch from kilometers uh, to uh, miles and so on if you're driving on Europe you can easily switch through uh, you know the the format and many many more just to mention voice recognition and um, online search are currently not available in the UK but we're looking to implement these in the coming months so stay tuned now I'll go ahead and uh, uh, try to make a simulation route so you can have an idea of what this looks like when you actually when you're driving So to do to create a new route to a new po to a postcode you just press menu here new route I don't suggest using search in all feature. It's good But if you want to search by a certain postcode the ideal way to do it is by searching for address because this will search only for postcodes uh, Search in all will give you a list of different other things that you might find useless so you scroll down to uh, address but before this i nearly forgot let me show you something i put on and that's important you won't find it on any other sat navs out there uh at least the cheap ones that come from ebay uh, whatever else uh so you can do a quick search for restaurants special station and something else that's you go to places basically i forgot to tell you that so you can do a quick search but you can do a deep search which we're gonna do now and if you press on KML POI here on the right this is what I put on so you got all the camping sites in France uh, well obviously these will be different if you're uh, for depending on you'll be using different not all of them because it depends on what you're driving a lorry or a caravan but if you're doing both then it's good to have them both um, so you got supermarkets industrial estates key fuels congestion charge motorhome parking spots and so many more so to uh, if you want to go for example to Asda to an Asda nearby you locate the closest to you say you want to go to this one you select it it will be shown on the map and you can start driving immediately you don't even have to put any postcode in so that's very very useful um, the same for the camping sites for for example you want to go to a club site nearby select it from the list and it will start listing the closest to you you can even search by name but you gotta know the exact name of it otherwise you won't pick it up but if you know it by you know nearby by the name roughly you can just do a quick search through the list you'll find it it'll be there select it and you can start driving so that's why i wanted to show you quick because it's important you want to have this also save locations is what you save as favorites so to resume our initial uh, intention to go to um, take a simulation route um, I've got a postcode I think I have one let's pretend we're going to Manchester and we're driving a lorry I tried this before it's an M89 BA postcode it's a it's a Manchester postcode so you go to address town or postcode tap on po uh, town name and now you can input the postcode so we'll go like this m and you go to numbers here one two three symbol so it's eight then remember to put a space you will see they're all grayed out and because on this sat nav unlike others you have to enter the postcode by the book space then nine again b a that's our postcode it will narrow down the search to the very last postcode that we need we select it from the list you can enter a house number if given if not leave it like that it will take it there anyway so you can, from there you can use a bit of common sense and see where it is um, the street num uh, the street number and house number and whatever you need to find um, you select 
as destination you will ask you to confirm these parameters because like I said I set this up now just to be like you driving a lorry it will calculate the route and will give you a quick overview of that route you can see it there but it will disappear in a second because it will tell you to start navigation we can easily go back to it apparently we have a three minutes delay due to traffic uh, events but we'll see what it is now if we go to these arrows here you'll see a new feature that's route alternatives you can press on it and it will take you back and but not only take you back it will also give you three route alternatives that you could take one is the first one that selected one is the initial one and I got an additional one which is fast as well and the third it's easy if you feel that you don't want any of these you can even generate more results after that so I can see that the first one it's asking me to take I will try to zoom out a bit so it goes through there and it's an hour and 28 minutes from my location that's 64 miles the second one it's 52 miles it's about 10 12 miles shorter but it takes longer and that tells me uh, it takes about half an hour longer and that tells me uh, it's because some of some road works if I, if I select that now right you will see it changed there and there is actually some road work in my way it's quite a couple I'm not sure if they're major or not but there are over there you can see one of them is here and there should be another one so I would suggest not taking that one but sometimes keep in mind that sometimes um, satnav calculates the route this way that if it's um, if, if the detour takes longer than the delay itself then it won't give you that route it's not worth it it's not worth it to, to take a longer route if you end up uh, pretty much in the same time at the destination so I'll take I'll stick with the first one for now number one which is there I will select it and at this point you can start driving straight away uh, but you will notice that something changed on the screen as well so instead of that little compass or whatever that was here you get these values you get the time time to your location uh, you get uh, well time you reach your location um, time left the time you will uh, it will take you to take this route to complete the route and the distance uh, so here you got the indicators now I will uh, you're good to drive at this moment like I said but because I cannot drive for obvious reasons it's locked down I will have to simulate this route I'll be driving on the road well keep in mind on route simulation you will uh, you will miss some features that will actually you will actually see while you're driving in real life and that's uh, one of them that I've noticed is the speed cam detection system that's a lot better when you're driving uh, in real life it will show you uh, a red message here big red red message you see you got one now arrival delay due to tra change in traffic but you will get a bigger one a red one saying speed camera ahead and you will hear a beep like you hear it beeping until you pass that speed camera so uh, now I will, route the, I will run the route simulation. To run the route simulation, I'll go quickly here. It's not important for you, like I said, you don't have to do this. Take the next left. And that's the sad when you're driving. After 600 feet, turn left, then bear right. See the indications clear over here. First maneuver is green. At the second next for after it, it's blue. It's in a little one in the corner. Take the second left, then bear right. Bear right. An important thing I want to show you: if you notice this bar loading here, when it's on green, means you're far from your maneuver. And as it advances to red, you're just, 700 feet, turn left. as it advances to red, you're getting closer to your maneuver, so you know when to prepare. It's a useful thing that one. Now so let's see how it looks like in a roundabout. I will skip to the next maneuver. Take the next left and 
to the roundabout. And take the first exit. After 600 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. You will lock into the roundabout. Take the second exit. So you can see better what's going on and what exit to take. That's another useful thing. And now it tells you there's another roundabout in 1.5 uh, miles after this one that's coming up now. So you got one now, which is there, and another one. In after 1,000 feet, go over the roundabout, taking the first exit. And another one, like I said, in 1.9 miles. Go over the roundabout, taking the first exit. So now, take this, the next left. We got to uh, the dual carriageway. See, that's a warning message. You're not allowed to turn right here. Such a pity you can't see the speed. You can hear the speed camera beeping and see how it shows over here. But you will see that definitely in real life. You got other POIs here displayed. And um, as you're getting to drive on a long distance, like on a motorway, you got 3.1 miles to your next maneuver. So it's zoom, it zooms out and you will see here it goes on airplane uh, view uh, just to you know not to so you know that you gotta keep straight you don't have to worry about any other lane change or something like that um, and as you get you get it closer to your uh, maneuver you will zoom back in again it's adaptive it's quite useful I'd say it's very very detailed and um, I'm sure you'll get used to it and you will uh, enjoy it. I'm confident with that. Many people like this system because it gives you so many details. So I think you got the idea. I'm not gonna wait any longer and bore you anymore because you, you know what you've seen the sat nav before, obviously, and uh, you got the main idea. And I'm sure you'll have time to see more. You get a warning about which lane to keep when you're driving. So you should stay in the next three lanes, don't straight stay on the first lane, on the left hand side lane because that will take you to Pontefract Castle Fort. We want to go to Manchester obviously. And uh, yeah. Prepare to keep right after half a mile. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I was, I wanted to see that. It shows you an animation of, uh, of what lanes to keep. So. I think you got the idea now about uh, what navigation is like and uh, you don't need to see any more now because this video was long enough and I'm not uh, the, the reason why I made this video is just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, the benefits of the navigation system the benefits of the live traffic first of all because if you wouldn't have these probably the sat nav this route was a shorter by uh, 20 miles, 10, 20 miles, 12 miles, or something like that. It will definitely tell you to, uh, to take this route. So, because Satnav, a well, Satnav without live traffic wouldn't know what's going on here. So he says, okay, this short, this route is shorter. All right, you can take that one. And as you get there, you'll end up doing like half an hour more than you should actually do. So, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you like the satnav and you're more interested in uh, purchasing, you'll see a link down below in the description. If you've seen this video from my website directly from the products page, feel free to ask any other questions. If you if this video wasn't enough to give you an idea of what the satnav is like, I'll be more than happy to ask to assist to uh, answer your questions. Uh, you got all my contact details over there. You've got our um, Facebook Messenger, it's on the website on the left hand side corner where you can address messages and questions instantly um, if you have a Facebook account of course if you don't you can fill in uh, one of them contact uh, forms on our website and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible and also you can request a callback as well from the website too thank you for watching I was Christian and I'll see you next time